everyone and welcome to Heidi's home. Today is Friday and I thought that I would share with you guys the weekend meals again because you guys really enjoyed that last one that I did showing you guys what we eat on the weekend. Um, I am not a fancy cook. Um, we are not gluten-free or vegan or healthy in any way right now. <laughs> But uh, we do home cooking here and country food, if that's the way you want to put it, um, and inexpensive uh, cooking. And I just thought I would show you, it is Friday and we are having barbecue chicken legs. I'm actually going to put these in the oven just for a few more minutes. I just put some more barbecue sauce over the top. I'm going to bake those for a couple more minutes. We've got baked beans. I did not have any bacon, but I did put brown sugar and some mustard and a little bit of garlic powder. They were already a bushes baked bean, and they're already pretty flavorful, but I love to bake them, and oh, I just love the way they taste. Back here, we have a no-boil macaroni and cheese. I did not have elbow macaroni, so I used rotini noodles, which I've already tasted. It is amazing. It's a brand new recipe I just found. My mom made a no-boil recipe when we was in Morgantown, and I decided um, she hadn't gotten back with me about the recipe, and I wanted to make it today, so I just looked it up online, and this is a half a stick of butter, and you melt it in the bottom. It is three cups of your elbow macaroni. I did three cups of rotini noodles. It's four cups of cheese on top of that, and then six cups of whole milk, and you bake it at 350 degrees for one hour, which everything has been in the oven for one hour. And I think sharing the heat source between all three of these, I just want to put these in until they're nice and kind of, I don't know, kind of crusty-like on the outside is what I kind of like. Barbecue chicken but I'm gonna bake it just a little bit longer and then we'll be ready to eat and I'll show you guys my plate when we get it served up. Hello everyone, it is, what is today? Saturday. Today's Saturday and we're having leftovers for lunch. Um, I've got a skillet handle in the way. You guys are going to have to ignore that. But we got the leftover mac and cheese, which by the way is totally delicious. We have the leftover um, barbecue chicken legs. And then you guys are going to laugh at me a little bit, but we had leftover baked beans and I didn't cut the, the hot dogs up. I just laid them on the top and they plumped great big. And I'm going to cut those up and we'll have those with the baked beans. It sounds so good to me. I love hot dogs and baked beans. I don't know why, but I do. I actually love it. Anyways, we're going to have some leftovers. That's why I like to cook big on Friday nights, because then on Saturday, I don't really have to worry about it. Although, I'm sure I will be fixing something uh, before the end of the day. But yeah, we're having leftovers for lunch. Today we're having tacos because this lady needs to go to the grocery store. <laughs> um, we have a friend that's coming to pick us up later on this evening and we're going to hit the store and we're going to start a new week and uh, make some really good food. But today we're having tacos and I just thought I would share this with you guys. Um, obviously, if you are not new to my channel, you guys know that my husband is blind. And I just thought that I would share this with you guys. First of all, these taco plates are phenomenal. I got them from Amazon. They're not very expensive. We had a Mexican birthday party for Ronnie last year, and I bought them. And they have held up. They wash really well. And... It holds his tacos so that he doesn't have to fumble around trying to hold his taco and eat it, you know. The other thing that I do, I thought I would just kind of throw this out there, is that, you know, you heat up your taco shells in the oven. When I do that, I go ahead and put the meat and cheese in there. That way it kind of glues 
if you will, the stuff inside the taco so he doesn't lose at all whenever he's eating it. So we are going to do some sour cream. This is just the Aldi brand um, medium salsa. He likes sriracha, which is really hard to find these days, but I found it. And then we're going to do some, you know, you could add more cheese if you wanted to or whatever. But I load his pretty good because he's a pretty hefty eater and I make him two of these plates and I also give him a bowl of extra salsa and some chips, some tortilla chips. So that is what is for supper today on this Sunday. Hope you all have a fantastic Sunday. So it is still Sunday and uh, I decided to think ahead for tomorrow and this evening as well. I've been promising his dad, uh, Ron's father, he's our neighbor as well if you're new to my channel, a pineapple upside down cake. It sounded really good. I had everything to make it. So I'm going to go ahead and put together a pineapple upside down cake. Um, and I'm also going to make a giant pot of chili so we can have a little bowl tonight because it's getting cold and then we can have uh, it for supper as well tomorrow. So that is what I'm cooking. Um, I'm making the pineapple upside down a little bit smaller because I don't have any uh, boards to put it out on. And so I'm going, I made it so that it was just big enough to go into or lay on top of when I turn it upside down to release it to go into a uh, one of my largest baking sheets and it has edges so if there's any runoff it's not going to hurt anything because usually with pineapple upside down cake when you dump it this is all like caramelized for the top and it, that's what makes it so good so if you want my pineapple upside down cake recipe i'll link it down below for you guys it's really super easy um, sometimes I put the cherries in, sometimes I don't. I just happen to have the cherries, and mine had stems, and so I had to take the stems off, but other than that, I just put it in. It just makes it prettier. It's not really a taste thing. It's more of a aesthetics thing, so if you don't have the cherries, don't worry about it, and this is just a really simple recipe to make. I'll link it down below, but I'm going to get this in the oven. All right, I'm going to turn my cake out. I'm just going to place this on top of my hot pan. That's the way I usually do it. And I'm running out of space here. Oh. Let's see what we can do. Oh, without burning ourselves would be good. What? Oh. <laughs> that sounded painful, y'all. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> there it is. I'm going to let it cool. It smells really good. I didn't mess up this end, but I'll eat it. Nobody will know. We'll put whipped cream on it. Nobody will know. <laughs> but yeah, it came out really good. There is my chili. I'm going to let it simmer for a while, but I'm going to close out this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some weekend dinners. Um, this is very simple. It is basically a couple pounds of ground beef. It's two cans of kidney beans drained, one can of black beans drained, a half a jar of hot salsa, and a large can of diced uh, tomatoes. Um, and then I use one of these seasonings, which is a chili original seasoning from Aldi. And then when I serve it up, if we want it hotter, we add hot sauce, crackers, and, you know, tomorrow I will probably make us a little tiny bit of cornbread to go with it. But we'll have a little bowl of this tonight, and then we will have um, this for dinner tomorrow night, and that way I don't have to worry about cooking. So it's a win-win. I have a doctor's appointment, so... Um, that way I don't have to worry about doing any cooking. But yeah, chili is such an exceptional thing when it's fall time and this smells really good and it is going to taste really good. Even if we don't even dive in it tonight, it'll definitely be ready for tomorrow. So it's good to be head of it, head ahead of the game. So if you are new to Heidi's Home, hit that like button and share and leave me a comment and subscribe. I love to hear from all of you. 
And thank you so much for watching. And I hope this inspires you on what to fix for you and your family. So have a fantastic day or night whenever you watch this. And I'll be seeing you all again soon. Bye.